So you see what's your boy can you say so and I'm back before we get to it make sure you like and subscribe make sure you check out the description box and follow my channels Make sure you watch the full video Always hit that like button. Let's check this, this video out for those in the audience Getting to know you for the very first time Who are you? <laughs> who, uh, who am are I? You? Um, my name is Justin. You feel me? That's my real name. I go by. That's where I got the um, J from. My name start with a J. Um, I grew up in Watts, California. Well, I'm from Watts, California, but um, I grew up in Compton. It's like next door. Um, Compton, California. You know, I moved there in like fifth grade. But it kind of just it's like overall it just shaped like growing up there shaped me to like be like a a very humble person. So I'm like. I'm a very humble person, a very like grateful person. You know, I'm a very caring person. So that's kind of like who I am. I'm a, I'm a rapper. I um, do YouTube on the side also. You know, just trying to kind of just do everything. You know, I'm just kind of trying to expand for on the internet. And between rap and YouTube, yeah. which came first, historically speaking, in your life? Um, rap, rap came first. Uh, I did rap, but I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship that I had just got out of, um, and. The thing I was doing for money wasn't, you know, that wasn't kind of like accepted over there, you know, so they kind of gave me an ultimatum and I, cho I ended up cho choosing the, the YouTube, you know, to, um, you know, it was just, it was just like kind of like a, if you keep doing what you're doing, you cannot like date my daughter type, you know, so I, you know, I chose the, the YouTube, but I definitely am happy I chose it because, you know, it, it taught me a lot, you know, especially like just being a rapper, you know, you're going to deal with all the publicity it comes with, so YouTube kind of made it easier to like deal with when I got like more into the rap stuff later on. And for those in the audience, uh, getting to know you for the very first time, once again, care to share that channel name on YouTube? Uh, yeah, my, uh, my YouTube is Jaycinco, uh, J-A-Y-C-I-N-C-O, yeah. And care to share the name of the person you're referencing in regards to that relationship? No. Um, her name is Brooklyn, her name is Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn Probably Frost. Nah. Now, be that as it may, yeah. what is the biggest misconception of you at this point? Um, like, 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 like wrongfully, like something that people assume that is like wrong type. What's a viewer opinion mm -hmm. that is incorrect people okay. may have about you? Yeah, um, I feel like people tend to play me like I'm some type of victim, like I victimize myself, you know, but. I feel like as a man, I feel like that happens. Like just in our generation, you know, already it's like as men, we don't get to express our feelings. And when we do, we get called, you know, certain names like soft or like we're playing victim. But it's like as a man, you got to as like me as a man, I got to be able to express myself. I'm not a robot, you know, so people tend to like that one time I may speak upon or show my feelings. They tend to like try to kind of play me like I play victim, you know, when in reality, I'm just like. You know, I'm a guy who's been through a lot that's kind of, you know, tired of just being quiet sometimes, you know? Like, it just comes through, comes out. Oh, God. Though. Have you lost opportunities because of this misconception? Um, I wouldn't say I lost no no opportunities specifically. I just, you know, I feel like whatever's meant for me will come to me, you know? So I don't really sweat it too much. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Um, the craziest rumor I heard about myself, I don't know, probably... I don't know a rumor about myself. I don't know. I really don't have no 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 smut on my name aside from just the like the relation. The only thing is like just related. That's probably the only thing I, like people could attach to. Me. And speaking of this relationship, is yeah. there anything you want to clear up in regards to that? Whatever's been said in the past up until this very moment, mm -hmm. is there anything you want to clear up? Um, Address. I mean, once and for all. I, I mean, just, I mean, to be real, I would just say stop oh attaching, God. like, I would just love for people to stop attaching my name to, like, you know, just that person, you know, because, you know, we over with, you know, the, um, you know, the bed has been made, you know, so it's like, it's just time to accept it and just move on, you know, it's like, even right now, like, even though we, like, apart, I like, get a lot of, like, DMs, like, things, I like, just a lot of things be brought to my face, you know, I don't go out looking for for information or I don't go out looking for um, things wrong with my, like that was wrong with my relationship, you know, but I feel like lately a lot of has been like, just, I don't know, like just brought to my face, you know, like I had somebody who was, you know, kind of told me some stuff that they, how do they know, you know, they out of state, you know what I'm saying? So I just, 
would just say to just leave, like, just, you know, if it's something about her or if it's something about, you know, all that stuff, I'd just rather just keep it away from me, you know, I just, as long as it's not in my face, you know, I feel like I'm good. So oh just, just to oh stop God, it, attaching me to that person, you know, just kind of let me branch off and do my own thing, you know, I'm trying, I'm not, I don't want to be stuck in that light anymore, you know, I'm too good of a, a nigga to just be in that, you feel me, I'm, I'm cool. And again, that's in reference to the same person you named previously. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, and speaking of DM, is that in reference to direct messages on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DM, yeah, yeah. Now, once again, for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your screen name on that platform as well? I'm on Instagram, the real Jay Cinco with two O's. If you can't miss it, you know, got a real check. <laughs> they ain't fake checks. That's what I'm talking to you, nigga. <laughs> How did you get that real check? Ah, uh, shit, I just woke up with it, you know. Woke up with it, but then it's crazy because when I woke up with it, a week later they made Facebook marketing. And it was like, I waited all this time for no reason. Now everybody got a check. Now, there was a policy at one point where, pe where people could apply for a blue check through the Instagram app. Yeah. Did you do that? Hell no. <laughs> Wait, oh, apply through the app. Yes, to get oh, a blue yeah, check. Oh, yeah, 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 apply. Yeah, you got to apply. But it took, like, it took like a couple of days, like three or four days. And I just woke up, it was, no, no, I was at Disneyland, and I just got verified, and I was like, damn. I felt, I felt like, I ain't gonna lie, I felt like a nigga, though, I ain't gonna lie. Felt cool as hell. Ever since you got that blue check, before the Facebook marketing started, yeah. did you notice any difference? For sure. It was a difference in everything, you know. I felt like, when I got my check, I don't know, I felt like I was just treated differently. You know, it was more, it was all the females was in my DM, of course, you know, that's always gonna come, you know what I'm saying? Because people think uh, some it is somewhat true though that blue check someone comes with money because obviously you got a blue check I mean that means you're doing something you're not just sitting on your a you feel me? They always go where the check go hello you feel me? But um, now it, it also brings a lot of opportunities too though you know it kind of sets you apart from a lot of people you feel me? Because it, it kind of puts you on a higher you know puts you on a pedestal like around people you know and I heard um, check marks you know when you DM somebody it go right to their DM go right to the top. Hello. Now, yes, when it comes to rumors, yeah. what is your general policy on them? There are some that clear them up yeah. and address them, yeah. and there are some that sweep it under the rug and let people talk. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm like the mix of both. Like I kind of like just off like how I was saying how be how they kind of try to play me, but I don't even say they because it don't be a, it's not a majority. Like it's not like I'm like hated on. You feel me? But it's like I just I don't know. I'd be focusing on bad comments, but. Like, um, wait, say that question again. I'm tripping. So the question was, what's your general, what's your general policy on rumors? Are you the type yeah. that clears them up and addresses them, yeah, oh, or yeah, sweep yeah. them under the rug and let people talk? Yeah, um, like yeah, like I was saying, yeah, I'm the, I'm in the middle. Like sometimes, most of the time, I take it to the chin. You feel me? Like a lot, even now, like I take a lot to the chin. Like I don't really speak too much upon it because I feel like even as a man, like even if somebody were to snake me or something, I wouldn't snake them back. You know, because you know you can't fight fire with fire. You know, I just kind of like leave stuff alone, but definitely when, 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 when it gets to a certain point, you know, I, I feel like, you know, you got to speak up, but I never feel like fully came out and spoke upon anything, but I just feel like I'll throw like little subtles or like, maybe I'll just be in my feelings one time and I'll just post them on my story, you know, like, you know, as a regular person, you feel me? I feel like people be trying to detach my, like they be trying to make it seem like I'm not human or something. Like I can't just get up on there, but I, I be, I be sweeping up in the rug a lot though. I don't really like to go on the internet and really, you know, speak about stuff. Cause I feel like, you know, what am I gonna explain myself to the internet for? You know, it's my life at the end of the day. You know, you know, if you know, you know, for real. My honey. Now, is there a question mm -hmm. you receive, you dislike getting asked? Something you can't stand to answer perhaps. Maybe yeah. it's a repetitive question. Something you receive all the time. Yeah. It could be from fans or strangers yeah. asking you this. Um, I mean, I mean, it's probably just be, people always ask me if YouTube's real. Everybody always asks me if YouTube's real. It's like, bro, like, what you asking me for? You know, it, it just depends who you are. You know, as a content creator, if you, do you want to, do you make real content? It just depends oh, on who the creator is. You know, but that's like a question I get asked all the time. But aside from now, I don't really be, nobody really be assuming like crazy stuff. Like, it's just be, no, nobody be asking crazy stuff. So speaking of creators, what about your YouTube personally and yeah. your channel? Yeah, is my, it real? Yeah, my channel real for sure, for sure. We real. We, we authentic for sure. 
And I kind of stopped doing pranks anyway, cause you know, I just didn't, I don't like really doing that, cause it's some videos sometimes it may get too hectic, and then the person may not want you to post it, you know. So kind of just shy away from pranks. I just do real vlogs. So and I try to be myself in all my yeah. vlogs, you know. Make, you know, and I always come with a purpose too. I'm always hella authentic in my vlog. Sure. Are you tired of questions in regards to Brooklyn? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, cause it's like you know, that's not, that's not what it is anymore. You know, we not a, a thing. So it's like. You know, I don't, you know, she. I, I kind of be feeling like, I don't know. I be, I don't know. I be taking it sometimes as disrespect, kind of. But I don't blame people because you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, I came on the platform with that person, so you know, you can't get mad. You just gotta kind of just say it before. You're gonna die off after a while. Are you tired of questions in regards to Deshae? Uh, nah, I don't really get asked about Deshae. For real, nah, I never really got asked about Deshae, but I'm cool with Deshae, so it don't really be. It ain't no like, you know. And still cool with them, even though you and Brooklyn are no longer a thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy. We were just talking uh, yesterday. Yeah. What about Brooklyn? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> When's the last time you two communicated? Nah. Oh, shit. Yesterday? Yesterday, cuz. Um, it was just, it was just like some money shit. I mean, you know, it was just a little situation, you know, we gotta you know, pay that up, you know? Type beat. Yeah. Are you tired of questions in regards to DDG? Nah, hell no. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't get asked about him neither. Nah, he cool. He, he, that's a real good nigga right there. That's a real good-hearted nigga right there. I don't I ain't tired of no question about him. Just curious there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now at this point in your life, are you single? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And why are you single? Ah, man, 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 you finna? What you trying to do, man? You wanna make me cry here, man? <laughs> I'm not asking you. Wanna make that me cry here, man? It's God too fresh, damn. bro. It's, it's fresh. You, I mean, it's, it's still, still kind of fresh. You know, two, three months. You know, nah, I probably said like two months. Um, I don't know. It. I mean, it's just like, like I said, you know, you can't, you know, speak on certain shit. But it's just, it's just more of, you know, um, I feel like. Um, sometimes, some, I don't know, like, man, he is for making me cry in this bitch. Come on, bro. What you on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, we broke up just because, you know, just things just don't work out anymore, you know? Sometimes you gotta just understand when, when you try, when you, when you forcing it, you know? Sometimes people can be forcing it just because, you know, you can be attached to the, that person, you know? And the love may not still be there, you know? Um, you know, as, as, as time go and people, show their true colors, you know, you gotta just kinda accept that and just, you know, take it, you know, and, and, and it's been hard, you feel me, like the breakup has been very hard, but you know, you as a man, like I said earlier, you know, you gotta just take it to the chin and just accept, you know, what it is and just know that, when, you know, after the storm it's gonna clear up, you know, and God gonna always, you know, bless you, you know, God gonna get you, have you if you walk through faith, you know, not by sight. So it's been good. In these two months, what's been the hardest aspect of it to grasp for you? Um, the hardest aspect, that, like the hardest thing for me to grasp during the breakup, um, it probably is, it's probably just more like shock, you know? Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, I, I love people hella hard, so it's like, you know, like, when you, when you love somebody so much and, and you go through a lot with them, and and you kind of just by, are like blinded by love, you know, you just think this person is an angel, not saying she's not an angel, but like, you know, you just think somebody is, you have your own fantasy of that person, you know, as far as like the image wise in your head. And, um, don't let disappoint you. you know, it just, it just don't turn out to be that, you know, once, once, once you kind of see that true color, it's like, you kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know, that shit kind of, welcome on me. Can you ask that question one more time? Yeah, the question was, what's been the hardest aspect of it to grasp for you? Um, yeah, 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 my fault. It's because I just be, I be thinking about stuff, it be sending me off. But the hardest aspect, yeah, like I said, just kind of just, just, just seeing like, it probably would just be seeing someone not caring, you feel me? Like someone not, not, not caring, that's probably the most hurtful part, you know, because it's like, me as a person, I, I like, I kind of always feel for other people, you know, like, if I don't want to speak upon certain, some, something, 
Like if I know something is very detrimental and can hurt your image or, or hurt anything, I, I keep my mouth closed, you know, but I feel like some people don't show the same respect, you know, and the hardest thing has been just like, just acting like everything is okay, you know, when behind the scenes, we, you know, it's a whole different story, you know, but it's like on camera, it damn near looked like, like I got left, you feel me? When that wasn't the fact, you feel me? I didn't, I didn't get left, so. You know, it's just kind of like, damn, like, you know, you feel me? Like, you see, you know, you, you, you say you want somebody in there. This next moment could just be in another nigga face, you know? It's just like, oh God, that's probably bro. the hardest part. And then, you know, the internet too. You know, that shit, I deal with that. All oh God, that should be, it'd be super disappointing, bro. Like, what? Like, I thought you was here. You, <sighs> nothing, bro. That's crazy. The time, you feel me? Like, I always, it's every guy, you know, she be around. It kind of is like always in my face, so it's like you know, it's just it's just it's just very hard compared to the regular person, cause a regular person to just break up and never see that person again, you know. And it's like with me, it's like we break up, I gotta see that for the you know for the rest of however long I care about you for, you know. It's like I gotta see that, and you know. But I'm thankful for that, cause it it, it kind of it, it it shapes you. You feel me? It shapes you into a, a like a harder, like a, like a tougher person for. But yeah, my hardest aspect is just acting like everything is okay, you know, when, when it isn't, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. How long were you two together officially for? Um, I want to say about two years. Two years, like yeah, like two, almost two and a half. Was she your first love? Um, definitely, I, I wouldn't say she was my first love as far as like the first person I ever loved. Like, you know, like, you know, because that's always like when you were younger and stuff, but she definitely like took that role, you know, because, you know, my first love was just puppy love, you feel me? Like, it was just like I was a kid, like fifth grade, but definitely um, when I met her, I did change, I, I changed a lot about myself. You know, she definitely, um, I changed into, I definitely changed into a better person for her, you know, um, so. Uh. Was there ever talk of an engagement or marriage at one point? Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I'm big on that. Like, you know, if I love somebody, you know, I'm, if I'm with you, you know, I'm planning to marry you for me. I'm planning to spend the rest of my life with you. You know, I'm not oh dating to break up. You know, I'm, I'm dating to marry. I'm dating to see my life with you. So, yeah, we, it was definitely a conversation a couple of times, for sure. Yeah, that was definitely the goal. Now, for some people, dealing with a breakup of this magnitude, as much time as you two were together, uh, filling that role of a first love, however way you want to word that. Yeah. Maybe even talk of a marriage as a end goal. Yeah. Mentally, has this been something you sought any professional help over? Um, have I received professional help for the for the hurt that I'm like experiencing? Yes. Uh, nah, nah. My my mom my mom setting it up though, um, cause I was supposed to get um therapy when I had got shot, but I didn't, I didn't never taken it. So I still got that kind of option open just from the victim of crime people. So I've been, I told, I've been heavily like on my mom about it though, but I feel like I kind of been finding my own way with the therapy. Like I haven't been going to professional therapy, but I like, you know, I'm a, I'm a real like, like I want to get through this. So I put my all into this, like as far as like into my healing. So I've been like really facing my fears and, and kind of watching like YouTube videos of, about like how people can let go and like, you know, just hearing advice from other people that have been through similar situations as I, as I have. You, and I just kind of, try, I'm trying to like learn from them and, you know, kind of just take things from what people be saying. So I, I'm kind of real tuned in on like the podcast and just trying to, you know, better my, my mind state. And just for context, care to share your current age? I'm 21 years old. And your birthday? Uh, December 14, 2001. 2000, baby. Now, you mentioned God here in this portion of questions. Yeah. Do you follow a religion by uh, any chance? Yes, I'm Christian. And when it comes to Christianity, does it get any more specific under that religion for you? Like a particular branch, for example? Nah, I'm just... It's different branches, just, bro? I just consider myself a Christian. I, don't <laughs> I didn't really... know that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to sit here like I'm just like heavy on my faith, but I'm definitely like, you know, making the effort to get there though. So I'm just kind of starting. And why Christianity for you? Um, it just, it just fits me personally. You know, some people, you know, they, they have dirt, like certain religions that fit them, you know, as far as 
they could have been brought up in that relig religion. They could that that religion may just make you know as as more sense than another religion. But to me, I just I just feel like Christianity was a a good fit. I grew up Catholic, my grandma, but when, my, when me and my mom moved into our um, apartment, she kind of like went her own route and started you know um, following like being Christian and stuff. So it kind of you know influenced me too. After. You also referenced uh, maybe puppy love in fifth grade, yeah. things of that nature. Yeah. Do you remember the elementary school you attended back in those days? Uh, yeah, Lincoln Elementary. Yeah, Lincoln, it's in Compton. It's on 122nd or something, 120th. Shout out Lincoln, man. <laughs> Hello. That's crazy, man. Make sure y'all like how I'm stride. If you're going through something, hey, I've been through a heavy breakup too. Sometimes you gotta just write it down. You got you, if you if you don't have nobody to talk to, write it down. All them conversations that you having in your head, write them down. For real, trust me, I've done it. <laughs> trust me, I've done it, and I got through it. Trust me. And then you gotta know who you are. Know who you are before before you got to that person. You was somebody. You felt that like you was that that dude, that female, whatever. Get back to feeling it that way. It's gonna might you might have to you know cry through it. Laugh through it, but you're going to get through it. Catch you on the next one.